Hi, welcome to this overview on the new Greyhound Later Faves. This is our second most popular software in the Greyhounds. It's been around since our, I think our very first Greyhound software release. Since then, Kev's done a brilliant job and upgraded it so that it is uh, still the same selection criteria in that, but just making it a lot more user friendly. And firstly, you'll notice uh, obviously the layout's a lot different. Up here, we've got the um, settings in that. So if you want to just export the selections when they're finished straight into your grey horse box, you can. And that's what this row up here is all about. So we just set, say, the minimum lay we want to do is we don't want to lay anything that's under two pounds, for example. This is just an example. You can pick your own. You don't want to lay anything that's higher than five pound. Uh, we're going to lay five pound of a bet on the lays. We're going to be laying them just 10 seconds before the off. And the valid is always true. So if it meets all those there, then it will lay the uh, dog concerned. So you can pick which race you want, but let's uh, do the Bellevue race here. And the other improvement now is it scans the whole meeting in one click. When we scan, let's click the scan button, you'll see down here these boxes, one, two, three, four, five, six, that's the trap numbers. And you'll see numbers flashing up in here, and that is the ratings that it's giving the dogs as it goes through. So let's have a look at the Greyhound later phase in action. So we can see in the uh, already in the first race, it's got trap six is the selection, trap one. Um, occasionally, you'll see here two boxes will flash up. It won't give a lay for that race because two dogs are rating the same, and um, so you'll see not every race is rated. Oh, well, no, it's not printed out. I'm sorry. It does every race, but not every race is recorded if two dogs are the same rating. Okay, so you can see how quick the software works. You can see there, okay, two dogs, number trap six, trap two. So we're not going to get, and trap six and trap one, you can see 32 and 32. So that's why they're not showing it. Up. And there's another one there, dog three and dog two. Dog two and dog one. So there's a couple of races there where the dogs have the same value, so there is no selection. Okay, so what that's done now, that's rated the Bellevue meeting for us. If that's all, if we don't want to do any of the other meetings, for example, we just did the Bellevue one, then all we simply have to do now is click on Save, and we save this to in a CSV file, so you need Excel on your computer. Uh, later, Save, I'll put here. Save. And then what happens is we end up with a file like this. It's, it's got the times, the track, the dog's name, and then the instructions, L's for lay, and then the odds and all that that we selected. So we can just load that now straight into our grey horse bot, turn the grey horse bot on, then this will bet to these selections. So you don't have to go in and put each bet into your grey horse bot. If you don't have a grey horse bot, then by all means, you can just do the bets manually, however you want to do them. Okay. So that is Greyhound Lay the Fave for you. Very quick, very easy to use. And also, as I said, if you've got Grey Horse Bot, then you can load the bets up pretty well straight away and get on with the rest of your day and come back and check the results later. Okay, about half of Kev, the program, and myself, Steve Davis. Thanks for watching Lay the Fave. Cheers.